Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to my review for two guns. Bang, bang. That was two. Two bangs, one for each gun, two guns. And <laughs> this, of course, stars Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, is, and it's from the director of Contraband from last year, which had Mark Wahlberg. No Denzel Washington, but I had Mark Wahlberg, and I was actually looking forward to this. I thought the trailer itself had a lot of personality. Uh, the, the chemistry looked like it was actually perfect for these two. I don't know how, but the chemistry in the trailer looked great, and it looked like a you know just a, a typical kind of crime uh, thriller. But you know what? I was looking forward to that. So what did I think of two two guns? Two. Of them. Well, let's talk about the story. All right, so the story for two guns follows the two guns themselves, Denzel Washington and, of course, Mark Wahlberg. Denzel Washington plays Bobby, a DEA agent, and Mark Wahlberg plays Stig, kind of weird name, uh, who is a naval intelligence officer, who are both undercover, working together. Now, they don't know that they're undercover. They just think each one of them are just criminal. They just think, hey, we're going to go steal some money, blah, blah, blah. But, of course, Mark Wahlberg and Denzel, they have ulterior motives. Which, of course, would, would play out very hilariously, which it does. But anyway, the story here, they're going to go rob a bank. The reason why is because the, there's 300, I'm sorry, not 300, $3 million in there that belongs to, to a drug kingpin that they are both trying to go take down. They're both undercover to go take down this drug kingpin. Thing is, is that they steal the money. There's way more than they're supposed to be. There's like $42 million or something like that. They take it, and then they realize this money does not belong to the drug kingpin. It belongs to the CIA. And, of course, Bill Paxton, as I think his name Earl, his name's Earl, who is a CIA agent who wants to go and, of course, get his money back. And he's going to go and shoot anybody they want. he wants. See, he's Bill Paxton. He doesn't care. You know, game over? No, it's not game over with Bill Paxton anymore. It's game on. So, anyway, where was I? Oh, anyway, there's a bunch of convoluted stuff. They have to work together now, even though they don't really trust each other. But then they, you know, start to build a relationship, blah, blah, blah. They're, they love each other. Kiss, kiss. No, none of that stuff. But, no, they have to go and, of course, shoot a bunch of people, blah, blah, blah. A lot of convoluted stuff in this plot. But, really, the plot here is to show off the chemistry of the two main characters. And, to be honest, that's all I asked for, and that's, that's exactly what I got. Just... Fun chemistry. So, there you go. There's a story. It's convoluted, definitely. There's a lot of villains in this movie. Oh, boy. And it just wraps it up in a neat little bow at the end, which was just so unbelievable. But everything else was still a lot of fun for the most part. Now, let me actually retract what I said. It's not that it's convoluted, because it is pretty easy to follow for the most part. For the most part. Because at the end, it just wraps it up all nice, and you're not like, hey, what happened about this side plot, or blah, blah, blah. No, you understand everything at the end. It's just when it's going, it, there's so much happening and so many characters being introduced, it gets a little confusing. But besides that, it's not really convoluted. You know what's going on. You know what these characters are. You know what these bad guys are. It's just they add a lot here, and it's a little co confusing, just sometimes. Uh, but again, the characters themselves are great. They have so much chemistry. And of course, I'm talking about Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington, which I thought was... Not, not the strangest pair I've ever seen, but, you know, I mean, not as strange as Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges, but, uh, you know what? It works here. It, it works perfectly. They are great here. And I have to say, even though I love Denzel and he's great in this, Mark Wahlberg stole the show. He is hilarious in this film, and he sells all of his comedic material to the screen. He is freaking hilarious. I laughed maybe ten times in this film whenever he said something. He is hilarious. Every time he, he has a... He, there's a whole joke about him winking at girls, but just his demeanor, how he laughs all the time whenever he says something. Every time he smiles, I'm like, oh man, this guy, he's a joker. I love this guy. I just wish Mark Wah Wah Let me say that again. I wish Mark Wahlberg was a lot, a lot like that in his other films, but he's not really, you know, for the most part. I mean, I love Mark Wahlberg, don't get me wrong, but I, I want him to be like this in more films, and I thought he was great. Denzel, again, he's Denzel. He's badass. He comes on the screen, and you're like, Denzel, once again, he can, he can get drunk, like in flight, and look like a douchebag. He'll be a badass, I don't care. So Denzel is great as well. The supporting cast is great. Bill Paxton, 
finally we see Bill Paxton in a role again where he's actually a badass. Now, I'm not saying Aliens he was a badass, actually he was probably the wimpiest character in that film, but he was definitely the most memorable of the side characters in that, and I would say he's a very memorable side character here too. He is great, and he actually is badass. When he comes into the room, you know bad stuff is about to happen. He's going to shoot you in the balls or the knee or whatnot. He's great. I thought he was great, and uh, he had some pretty funny moments too. Uh, now some of the side characters, and eh, Edward James almost was okay here. I mean, no, he, he's great. He's a great actor, but his character, they kind of got rid of him a little bit too quickly. Um, not got rid of him, but more of like, he'll show up, then he's gone, and then he'll come back for a, a little bit, then he's gone again, and then he comes back again. And he's a, he's, he's a good actor. I just wanted to see him a little bit more. Paula Patton is completely forgettable in her role. She's good, don't get me wrong, but you know, let me just tell you this, she gets naked and you get to see her two guns. <laughs> Boobs, that's what I'm talking about, two guns. Um, but she is incredibly hot, but she's incredibly forgettable in this film. Um, and also Fred Ward comes in for maybe two seconds. That's it. Oh, James Marsden's in it also, and he's completely forgettable too, even though I love that guy. So acting-wise, the two main characters oh, definitely sell it, and Bill Paxton's great as the main villain here. So there you go. There is the story. There is the acting. I think both of them are very, very entertaining with some problems, of course, but two guns. It's called Two Guns. So what did I think of the action? Let's talk about that. Now, even though Two Guns is an action movie. It's also a comedy. Like I said before, Mark Wahlberg is hilarious in this. Denzel and him have so much chemistry. They seem like they've been friends for the longest time, which maybe they are. Maybe in real life, maybe they've been friends for a long time. I'm not sure. I, I don't follow them like that. Maybe you can tell me. They Are they? Tell me. Come on. Tell me. But anyway, they seem like they're, they're the best of friends, really, and they have great chemistry, and it's really funny when they're on screen together, and when they're off screen, it, you, you can kind of feel that. You can kind of feel their absence. But um, the action is really good in this. I mean, for the most part, there's a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, there's a couple of car chases, and a couple, well, actually, really, there's only one car chase, I think, and there's a couple of shootouts, but, you know... They spread it out nicely, for, for the most part. I wanted to see more comedy. <laughs> Even though it's called Two Guns, I wanted to see more comedy than action. And they had a nice amount of action there, and it was entertaining for the most part. Like I said before, they, they just... They just tie that bow up so nicely at the end, just like everything's resolved. There you go, everybody that bad is dead, do 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 And it's just, it's a little too neat how they did that. Um, and they do have... They do try to have a couple of twists and turns here, which do not work. But for the most part, Two Guns is a very fun movie with a you know somewhat confusing story at times. But great characters, great, great comedy, very good writing for the most part. And I really enjoy Denzel and Mark Wahlberg in these roles. I really do, and I really want to see a sequel. So there you go. Two Guns is a surprise because I didn't think it was going to be that great, but I thought it was great. There you go. 34 out of a 40. Very entertaining film. Definitely go... Ooh, damn. Good. Definitely go check it out. Oh, I'm gonna die. There you go. There's my review for Two Guns. 34 out of a 40. Goodbye.